Hello everyone. So as you know that last year GATE introduced a new paper that was GATE Geomatics and a lot of you are this year also interested in the same paper. So we have brought a study plan for the next five months that you can use. So in the five months you can easily cover whatever the syllabus is and also you can revise the subject properly. So we can see this study plan here and you can using this plan you can definitely ace in this exam. So here on the screen we have all the topics on the left hand side I have made kept it in a table and on the right side you can see the syllabus. So this paper is divided in three parts. Part A is the common part and then we have part B in that there is section 1 and part B section 2. Now part A the common part so as the name it is saying it is a common part so this is the part that is mandatory to be covered and then we have part b i mean in part b there are two sections section one or section two so between these two between section one and section two you can just choose one you are not supposed to be studying all these topics now based on that you can see the syllabus is quite limited in this exam it's not as vast as some of the other subjects and if you talk about the weightage so weightage is also very fairly distributed so if we take take these four topics plus aptitude so aptitude is fixed that is 15 marks and these four topics are there for 55 marks so if we combine the first five topics these four plus aptitude then you are reaching the number of 70 marks so by doing these many topics by just doing the common section plus aptitude you have 70 marks in your exam covered now apart from that if you see in the part b so we have covered section one of that if you already know these topics or if your college course require you to study these topics we would say you can go for the section two but if you are from civil background and you have i mean you would have studied some of these topics so we would say you stick with the section one of part b so here you have the remaining 30 marks that is the last three topics here so you can see how these marks are fairly distributed here it will be 10 10 10 and here these four topics are there so about 10 to 12 marks from each topics so remote sensing gnss gis and maths these are the four topics and aptitude is i mean you can combine it with maths or you can say study it separately so here you have if you take the 150 day plan from now so in 150 day you can finish your syllabus and even then you will have more days left so you can utilize that for giving further more mock tests and understanding what mistakes you are making and improving those i mean here you can see the distribution is fairly simple you can give about 15 15 days to each of these first four topics if you need if you think you will need more days for maths then then you can decrease a few more days from the first few topics and increase in maths then you have a few days available for revision also similarly for the remaining topics now how you should proceed with studying and revision so you can study a topic let's say you are starting with remote sensing then you can study remote sensing then you can move on to gnss now once you are done with these two topics you can go back to revise the remote sensing topic in between i mean before you move to the next topic then once you have revised the remote sensing part you can move on to the next topic that is gis then after gis you should be revising gnss because by the time you will move i mean by the time you'll finish this gis you would have forgotten the previous subject it would be even better if you can give at least one day for the first subject at this point so this way you can revise or another strategy that a lot of students like is to divide their time i mean and continuously study and revise also 
so initially one or two subjects you can just straight away study without without making it more complicated but once you study two subjects you can apply let's say you are studying for three plus one i mean four hours then three hours you can give to studying a new subject and then one hour of the day you can keep for revising the previous subject that way you can keep on studying new subject also and revising this is more effective if you are not able to finish these topics within these days which is what sometimes happens so this will be more optimal in that case and when it comes to revision you should not just read the topic in the name of revision because it does not require you to engage a lot with that topic so when you are revising the topic start by solving questions if you need to check out the formula i mean if you need to check the formula of the topic before you can solve question you can do that once you check the formula of that topic go on to solve questions solving questions will help you see what are your strong parts and what are your weak parts and once you understand your weaknesses you can go to the reading part so once you have solved question you can find out what are the kind of mistakes you are making and then you can go and read that topic from your notes so this is what i mean i would suggest you to use while you are revising while certain things require reading like if it is a theoretical topic you will need to read a lot more to keep it in mind but if it is a numerical topic then solving questions will help you much more similarly a topic like maths you may want to give it special time but once you have studied it once then you may want to solve like let's say up to about five questions daily like let's say you are studying maths in september then october or november onwards you should give it some daily attention now a good part in this paper is that the maths is very relevant to surveying or very relevant to the geomatics itself it is not the kind of maths that you generally see in civil or environmental science so you can see the topics in maths here surveying accuracy precision most probable value errors and adjustment some of these topics if you are a civil student you would have studied these as a part of your civil syllabus itself but if you are not from civil then also you would find much easier to cover these topics if you are giving it daily and systematic time so that way you can finish all these topics in time you can take this study plan modify it according to your needs and you can start your preparation also you can check out our website if you are preparing for gate geomatics then we have courses available for that and it will help you in your entire preparation